was a day filled with uh, terror for Londoners as a knife attack on the London Bridge claimed the lives of two people and injured three others. That's the top story at this hour. The attacker has been identified by London's Metropolitan Police as 28-year-old Usman Khan. He had been con convicted in 2012 for a terrorism-related offence but was released in December last year on licence. The attack reportedly started near the northern side of the bridge where a prisoners conference was uh, underway. Uh, this was a rehabilitation conference by the, of the prisoners. Now the attacker himself was participating in this conference. A police commissioner has confirmed that two people were killed and that three others were still in the hospital with injuries. I am deeply saddened and angered that our city of London has again been targeted by terrorism. It is with the heaviest of hearts that I have to inform you that, as well as the suspect who was shot dead by police, two of those injured in this attack in the London Bridge area have tragically lost their lives. My heart goes out to their loved ones and to the three further injured victims who I understand are being treated in hospital and of course to everybody who has been affected by today's terrible and mindless events. Police also confirmed that the attacker was wearing a hoax bomb and that they confronted him merely five minutes after the incident was reported. It was in fact a couple of good uh, citizens on the bridge which first sought to restrain the attacker before the police arrived. The London mayor has lauded the bravery of the citizens on the bridge and asked Londoners to be cautious and report any suspicious activity. I want to thank our brave emergency services who responded to today's horrific attack. Every day they put their lives on the line for us running towards danger in order to keep us safe. I would also like to thank members of the public who risked their own safety this afternoon. They are the best of us. Terrorism is cowardly and evil. We must and we will stand united and resolute in the face of terror. Those who seek to attack us and divide us will never succeed. I would ask all Londoners to remain vigilant and report anything suspicious to the police. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson and Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn condemned the attack. The Prime Minister convened an emergency cabinet meeting in the aftermath of the attack to take stock of the situation. He also emphasised on the need to enforce sentences on crimes related to terrorism. Oh my God. I think it's very important that when people are convicted of very serious uh, and violent crimes, and potentially violent crimes, that they receive the custodial sentences that I think uh, the public uh, would want to see. And uh, that's something that we've said, uh, I've said since I became Prime Minister, and I think it's uh, something that the, uh, the public would want to see.